If you're having a good time, let me hear you say yeah! Okay. Thank you for How doing this. How did you What we want to know is, where are you, Hillary? If you go on Hillary Clinton's campaign site, there's a whole section dedicated to Native Americans and keeping treaties. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's been taken down yeah. this week. But there is a <laughs> section dedicated to, to Native Americans keeping the treaties, blah, blah, blah. And what we know from this person right now, I'm a hardcore left winger, and we're sick of you from the left wing. What we know from this person right now is that she lies about everything. There's nothing she will, won't lie about, and there's no cause she will take a stand for. And uh, that's been clear now. It took me 25 years to give up on the Clintons, but um, I'm disgusted by them, and they don't stand for anything but themselves. protecting our land, their land for all this time. What we want to say is two things. First of all, at what cost? Land, water, 
species besides humans just devastated, not only by oil spills that are very possible that are happening right now, but as far as just extracting extreme energy sources that we know there are alternatives. They will tell us there are no alternatives. They will tell us the technology is not there. What's not there is the political will. That's what's not there. Corporations control the Democratic and Republican parties. They will tell us that the money is not there, but we know that that money for military bases, for war, for all the things that the 1% hold true, we know that that money will do more than for the people of the planet if it is diverted to have 100% clean renewable energy. And the Green Party call for a Green New Deal that will do that and will put people to work and put people to work in meaningful, good paying jobs that save their communities that go on for generations because that is our responsibility. It is not the responsibility of the two corporate parties and their corporate backers. So I'm going to read just a little bit of the Stein Baraka statement. I think people heard the non statement from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> And let's give a shout out for those brave uh, indigenous young people who came here and wanted to be heard and were not heard by the Clinton administration. Instead, she puts out some ridiculous statement that doesn't mean anything. Let's give it up for them. We condemn the violent repression of peaceful protests against DAPL as human rights abuses, including the use of attack dogs, pepper spray, the persecution of journalists, the authorization of weaponized drones, the disruption of prayer ceremonies, and the desecration of sacred burial sites. These are not actions of public servants sworn to protect and serve the community, but the unconscionable oppression of an occupying army against the original inhabitants of this land. The Dakota Access Pipeline is not only a human rights crisis for indigenous peoples, but a catastrophic ecological crisis that will affect millions of people who depend on the Missouri River for drinking water. There have been over 3,000 pipeline accidents in the United States since 2010, including deadly explosions and spills that have contaminated whole ecosystems. In the past week alone, two pipelines have burst, including a massive incident on the Sunoco pipeline in Pennsylvania, which dumped 55,000 gallons of gasoline into the Susquehanna River. There is zero expectation that the Dakota Access Pipeline will be free of such problems and could be even worse, as it is intended to carry Bakken shale oil, one of the dirtiest and most volatile types of fossil fuel on the planet. So thanks again, everybody, for standing up for Standing Rock, standing up for the environment. Thank you. What we're seeing is brutal. We're seeing militarized police with tanks military-grade uh, vehicles, we're seeing rubber bullets being shot at peaceful water protectors, which is completely outrageous. And you know when a government's becoming authoritarian, when they also start locking up uh, journalists uh, yeah. for doing their First Amendment right and reporting on these crimes that the police there is committing. Um, unfortunately, the police has not been on the right side of history. They've always decided on the oppression when you go back to the civil rights era, and when you go back to all the movements before that as well. Um, what's happening in, in North Dakota with this oil pipeline where we're supposed to be moving towards renewable energy right. where we're trying to, to reduce the effects of climate change where we've already, we've already been past the threshold right now we're at a moment where we're all, we have to reduce the damage that this pipeline and all this fo new fossil fuels is doing and yet we keep on, on building these things the two corporate parties of course are silent on this um, Hillary Clinton herself gave a non-answer, uh, obviously because the money that they take from fossil fuels. And I want to point out that Jill Stein has been the only presidential candidate to stand with the Standing Rock and protesting this outrageous. And the only candidate that actually went to Dakota. Exactly, exactly. The only candidate that actually went to Dakota. And this really shows us that this movement is strong and people across the country have gone to North Dakota to stand in solidarity and prevent this this pipeline that goes through sacred tribal lands and that, that endangers the water, the sacred water uh, of these Native Americans. 
it's outrageous what we're living through to this day in 2016 where we have police doing what we're doing and the state protecting the corporate interest instead of the interest of the people right. which is what Whoa. they should be doing yeah. so I want to again thank you all and I hope we keep this fight. We have to keep in solidarity with uh, the native people who are protecting their livelihoods in North Dakota and we will rise up as the people and we will not let these crimes go unpunished. We will keep fighting. We will hold these people accountable because this cannot be happening. This will not happen. Thank you very much. I'm a, a climate justice activist and I've been working with 350 NYC for the past year. I'm also now the National Youth Coordinator for the Stein Baraka Campaign. What we're working on right now is to establish green chapters across the country. Um, the problem is with the Democratic Party and the Republican Party is they create this false dichotomy of one is right and one is wrong, um, but they're both, both problematic. That's the problem. And this is an issue that goes beyond um, climate justice, it's a racist, it's, it's an issue of racism. Because we here in um, New York are fighting the AIM pipeline, but we're not facing attack dogs. Why do you think that is? It's, it's racism. And so this is a really intersectional issue um, of climate justice, um, but it also points to the issues of racism in this country. First, so, First Nation? All right, what's your name? Blame. So my name is Mo, and um, I'm Palestinian, and uh, the, um, I'm here to um, show my solidarity as well as um, part of an indigenous nation with um, what's going on with um, Standing Rock, and to show also that this is a struggle that goes beyond the borders of South America and North America as well. Um, and the people of Palestine know about what's happening in North Dakota and they stand strongly and firmly against the pipeline in Dakota and this must not happen. We all here in New York or um, every else in, 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 in the world, like in, even in Israel, live on land that once belonged to indigenous people and we try to coexist and live with that claiming sometimes that we were not there we did not do it we were born here but now it's 2016 and we are arrived and it's still happening and we're witnessing it and it's a big shame that this is happening in 2016 and we don't have enough power to stop it um but i just want to point out something that hasn't been addressed yet the same day that the uh, native americans were brutalized in north dakota the Bundy verdict came out. And we saw white privilege in action with the Bundy verdict. Now, this is a group of white people that occupied federal land with weapons, armed with weapons, threatening to resort to violence. And they were found not guilty. How is that possible? How is that possible that they were found not guilty and then the same day, we're seeing Native Americans brutalized on their land. Racism. That Racism. is white privilege at its best, people. And we need to fight against that. We need to show the world that we are not going to stand for that. So I just want to say that I'm so honored to be here with you guys in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in North Dakota. I just want all of us to really 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 keep going everything that we're doing individually in our own groups and our communities keep it up we're fighting for water and i can't understand how why it is that we have to fight our government for clean water what's happening in north dakota is injustice and it just goes to show you that there's a lot to be done even in flint michigan there's brown water water is the source of life water is life and we need to do all we can to let them know that they're with them. Even if we can organize to go down there, that's something that I'm looking into soon. So I just, you know, and also the way they're being brutalized down there is not, it's not different than what's going on here in our streets in Brooklyn and the Bronx and Queens and Manhattan. They're, they're out of control. It's out of control and it's not all of them. It's not all of them. It's just them taking orders, doing what they gotta do. But at the end of the day, you cannot treat people like they terrorists because they want clean water. It's unacceptable and we have to do all we can to help them. Hi, my name is Soa and here I have a picture of President Barack Obama taking a beautiful photo op with Native Americans. 
Now here they are smiling and beaming in the background and they're all holding up signs that say change we can believe in. So here we are eight years later, the Black Lives Movement, police brutality, all types of things. And guess what? Where is the change we can believe in? Um, here's a picture of Elizabeth Warren who has claimed to be a Native American. And a number of times I defended her against the right, but I'm done, I'm done defending these two yeah. against the right. I won't defend them anymore. Um, lip service is not what we need. What we need is people who believe. And every time this person says she's a progressive, I know she's not because progressive have core values. And the core values of progressives are equality, the environment, human rights. You can't just give lip service to it and take Wall Street money and bust heads and stand on your high perch and preach down. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I just want to bring this back to Brooklyn. I'm active with the Guadalajara Canal and the Superfund cleanup. And we're standing here on one of the most polluted aquifers in our country. We can't drink our water here in Brooklyn. Our aquifer is really disgusting. We're going to seal the contaminants in the Gowanus down in the aquifer so that vapors don't continue to pollute. But this building here is getting lots of fresh water from upstate New York at billions of dollars, where our upstate New York uh, residents can't even have access to that water. Right. I think we have to keep in balance where our water comes from, understand that we can't continue to pollute aquifers in any part of this country because nobody can do like New York City and buy a, a, a reservoir way upstate with the billions of dollars. The, the natives need to make, maintain their water. We need to defend that beyond all else. Woo! 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 Thank you, Michael. I think that's my name. I like it. 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 I like it.